hello everyone welcome to my channel let's solve this question together now we are given that s to the power of 3 plus s equals to 10 we are asked to look for the value of x now this question is as simple as a b c d now our first step what you're going to do is to subtract 10 from both sides of the equation that's our first step let's do that quickly that means this now become what s to the power of what 3 okay plus what x minus 10 equals to what 10 minus what 10 because we subtracted 10 from both sides of the what equation that means we're going to have that this is what s to the power of what 3 plus what x minus 10 equals to what 0 because 10 minus 10 is what 0 this is fantastic now our second step what we're going to do is to consider the is well concentrate on what this x you're seeing here because having s to the power of 3 plus s minus 10 equals to 0. now we can express this x in two terms what do i mean we can use two number and work on them and see have this x is here do you know that 5s minus 4x it give us what x right now i know you'll be wondering as sagas also why are you using 5s minus 4x we can also use 2s minus 1 minus s we still give us x the reason why we are using 4s and uh, 5s minus 4s is because 4 4 is said you are seeing 4 is a perfect word square you know 4 is a perfect square so that's the reason why we are using 5 minus 4 okay now we can write this as what s s to the power of 3 plus what plus 5x okay minus what 4x okay minus what 10 all this equals to what zero now this x you are seeing here is the same as 5s minus 4x because 5s minus 4s is x now i know you'll be wondering ah sir at least if 5s minus 4s is x but 4x plus 2s minus s is still x and 3s minus 2s is still x why are you using why are you concentrating on 5s minus 4x is because this 4 you are seeing 4 is a what 4 is a perfect square that is why i'm using what 5s minus 4s get it fine now you know that we are not also wrong if we decide to write this as s to the power of what 3 minus 4x okay plus what 5x okay minus 10 all this equals to what zero because 4s 4s plus 5s equals to what 5s minus 4a which is the same as what x now let's consider this we are having s to the power of 3 you are having minus 4s what is common s is common we factorize s at into s to the power of 3 divided by s we have what s square okay minus 4 s divided by s we have what minus what 4 we'll close parentheses now between 10 x and 10 what is common what is common here is 5 okay what is common here is 5 why is it that 5 is common 5 is common because 5 can go into 5 that remainder and 5 can also go into minus 10 so into 5 s divided by 5 gives us what x then 10 minus 10 divided by 5 gives us what minus what 2 all this equals to what zero wow this is fantastic now let's consider this parenthesis consider this we are having difference of two square so now this is what x into what s to the power of two minus two to the power of two two to the power of two is c4 we'll close the parenthesis plus what five into x minus what two all this equals to what zero we can define that this is what by definition of difference of two square now this is what x into what x minus two okay into x plus what two okay plus what five into x minus two all this equals to what zero let's look at this question carefully you see that something is common what is common s minus two is common because s minus two is here and s minus two is here so you can see that into s minus two is common okay then into again if we divide the whole of this the whole of this by this this will cancel out this will left with what x into x plus what two okay now if we divide 5 into s minus 2 divided by s minus 2 we have what plus what plus 5 all this equals to what zero now let's open this parenthesis know that this is what into x minus 2 okay into s times f give us s we're having as s square okay s times 2 have what plus 2x so here is 2 plus 2x then plus what 5 plus 5 all this equals to what zero now understand that when the product of two terms is equal to zero it means that each of the parentheses is equal to zero or you can see that both of them are equal to zero so that means 
x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x square plus what 2x plus what 5 is equal to what 0. From here, let's add 2 to both sides because this is linear equation. This is what quadratic what equation. So let's add 2 to both sides or let's add 2 to both sides. That means s will be equal to what 2. This is one of the value of s that satisfy this equation. Let's check whether when s equals to 2 satisfy this equation. If here is 2, 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 into 3 places, which is 8. And a plus 2 is what? Because here is 2. a plus 2 gives us 10. We are correct. S equals to 2 is one of the perfect solution to this problem. Now, from this, from what? From, from s square, okay, plus what? 2x plus what? 5 equals to what? 0. Now, this is what? Quadratic what? Equation. Now, let's solve for the decriminant. Decriminant of d is equals to what? b square, okay, b square plus minus what? Square root of, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Because let me just first of all define the definition of. That means s will be equals to minus b plus minus the square root of what? Square root of what? b square, okay, minus what? 4ac. All over what? All over 2a. That means the determinant will be what? D equals to B square minus 4AC. Now, from the equation here, we know that our A is equal to what? 1. Because the equation S square here is 1. Then our B will be equal to what? 2. And our C is equal to what? 5. Now, that means D is equal to into B is what? 2 square minus 4A. A is what? 1. And C is what? 5. Okay, that means... The criminal will be equal to 4, okay, minus what, 20, okay, because, because you can see that 4 times 1 is 4, minus 4 times 1 is minus 4, minus 4 times 5 is minus 20. That means this will be equal to what, minus what, 16, okay. All right, now let's remove this from here. Let's remove this from here. All right. Okay, now that means our x is equals to minus b plus minus the square root of what d because this is the determinant you can see it from here. Now divided by what divided by 2a that means s will be equals to b is what b is 2 so this will be what minus 2 right minus 2 plus minus the square root of what now minus what 16. Minus what 16 divided by what divided by 2 times 1. So 2 times what 1. Okay. Now do you know that we can also work on this. So this will become what s is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of 16. Square root of minus 1 is by 16 and square root of minus 16 divided by what 2. That's s will be equal to minus 2 plus minus. Now remember. The square root of 4, square root of minus 1 is a complex number, so it will be equal to what? Imaginary unit, which you should note that, note, okay, note that, square root of minus 1 is equal to what? I, which is complex, what unit? That means, yes, what? I, okay, multiplied by root, what? 16, divided by what? 2. That means, I, S, will be equal to minus 2, plus, minus, what? This will be I, multiplied by what? 4. The square root of 16 is 4, divided by what? 2. That's S will be equal to minus 2 plus minus 4i. Because i times 4 is what? 4 what i. 4 what i. Okay, divided by what 2. Now, we can remove this from here. Okay. That means our x, S will be equal to minus 2 plus what? Plus 4i. Okay, divided by what? divided by 2, or our s will be equals to minus what? Minus 2 minus 4i uh, 4i divided by what? 2. That is our s will be equals to 2 divided by 2. We have minus 1 plus what? 2i. Or our s will be equals to minus 1 minus what? 2i. That is our s is equals to 2i minus 1 Okay, this is the second solution. 
or s equals to minus 1 into 1 minus 2 what i okay you can factor s sorry you can factor s one as so minus one times this will give us give us minus one and minus one times this will give us minus two i and this is third solution and this is the first solution so therefore s is equals to two comma s one is equal to two comma then s two is equals to two i minus one and s three is equal to what minus equals to minus into what minus into one plus two what i okay how are we going to know that this will satisfy this equation how are we going to know because we know that two satisfy right this two as it comes to this satisfied equation we know then if we substitute this in place of that we will know that it satisfied the equation can we check let's see let's see 